Do you know what the biggest regatta in the world is? It's not the Olympics, World Championships. Those are important, but for elite rowing. Nope, it's here in Boston every October. Head of the Charles, baby. My name is Amy Glavin, and I'm a rower and filmmaker from Philadelphia. My friend Chet and I found two spots in a Club 4 out of Undine, and we trained together for a few weeks to race in Boston ahead of the Charles. Around 2,000 boats and over 10,000 rowers race the course every year. Yeah, boys. On race week, I drove up to Boston a few days early to film some interviews for my Olympic rowing journey documentary, and I've been self-producing that this whole year. I've made it to Boston. I start filming interviews for the documentary tomorrow morning. Jasper's the first one. I had to see the field, pick up lights, go do all this stuff, so I gotta get to bed. Dan Beckham, the guy in charge of the Head of Charles broadcast, helped me out by getting me a room at CRI. Also, side note, it takes so damn long to set up an interview by yourself. I was able to interview Jevy, Christy, Mr. Stone, Jasper, Zach, Molly, Michelle, Maggie, CC, Ali, Kevin, Finn, Soren, Chet, Justin, and Chet interviewed me. This is my documentary. So those were mostly Thursday and Friday morning. And that's your right. Then Friday afternoon was headed to Charles, the classic practice day of hell. Marissa, Some people were in line for the docks hi. for about two hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bullin' in the boat trap. Turns out we had too big of a skeg, and I wasn't paying enough attention because I was so overwhelmed by the week. But Saturday was race day, baby. Let's go. I'm biking from CRI up to the course. We're going to switch out the handles. We're going to get some footage of the early races. Then I'm going to warm up and race, so go time. Look at the difference between the two. Oh my god. Huge thanks to Croker and Greg. He killed it. Coming in clutch, so thanks. Good, good luck racing. Race it. Have a good day. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're kitted up in this group. Matt, take a check and make sure this is recording. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I'm done. I'm a paddle. Go time, boys. Big swing into the wind. I'm dying. Drawing across the start here. Here we go. And whoa. Good. Nice. Iona, move the court. Iona, move out. Yield, Iona. Let's go. We're good. Walk away now. Here we go. Support flow. Mental reset. 1500, baby. Court flight. Coming up on inside. Plank. Accelerate. Whip. Yeah, boys. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is hella in my. <laughs> and that was racing. We got 24th of 44 boats, so we missed automatically qualifying and I overexposed the footage a little bit, so that's a bit unfortunate. 
Overall, a fun experience and a great first race in two years. And hearing everyone cheer was just yeah, awesome. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, GW Men's Rowing, coming back. We're still here. We got <laughs> Champ Eight tomorrow. We got moved up to the Champ Eight, but look out, Yale, UW, everyone, look out. We're coming. Yeah, boy. That's it. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. Don't look now. The first thing I'm going to do is look. <laughs> We derigged and I grabbed my camera from the broadcast center and went to film my friends racing in the champ doubles and singles. Thank you all for coming. Isn't this a beautiful afternoon? Okay, so my bags are currently in the place I dropped them off at the broadcast center and I need both of them in order to do my interviews tonight. So I have Miss L. Schechter in 20, 35 minutes. So I'm an idiot. I forgot like that I had bags back there. So I'm like, oh God, Dan Beckham, you're the man coming to save my ass every time. I owe him a at least a full keg. Okay, we'll see how it goes. I got it. Dan is the man. And his girlfriend's the best. Let's just do some interviews. So after racing, filming, interviewing, and dinner with old teammates, I downloaded my footy and passed out for Sunday. Lisa, dope <laughs> photographer. Dan gave me broadcast credentials, which gave me access to anywhere that I wanted. To repay him, I got tons of shots of the live view streaming equipment that they use for the online broadcast. These things were so cool. 
They had like eight stations around the Charles, which gave you a view of the basically entire course. Okay, stand by nine, coming to nine for finish, and take nine. And because of that, being on top of Cambridge Boat Club meant that I had a sick view of Elliott Turn. I got to see the kids that I coached who were racing there as well. Nathan Turn! So after getting those shots, honestly, the rest of the day I just ran around the regatta filming tons of rowing. So enjoy this footage and see if I captured your boat. Yeah, boys! <laughs> Yo! Head of the Charles 2021. It's been a long, long year and a half, two years with the coronavirus, and it's just so great to have everybody back here together um, celebrating rowing, uh, the community, and just everybody racing. It's it's incredible to be back here and, and see everything and yeah, everyone man. participating. So Love it. Yes, sir. Dude, hype. All right, uh, Dave, to see Yale crush that champ eight? Never surprised, unless I'm surprised. I, mean, <laughs> you know, I guess that's a wrap. Until next year, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into the live stream. And uh, thank you to, to Dave and, and David and to everyone at the head of the Charles and to all of the athletes, volunteers, everyone that makes this regatta happen. See you next year. See, See you next, next year. year. All right. Mics are muted. We're out. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Awesome! Nice! <laughs> yeah, boys! Yeah, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Should we fade the black? Yeah, fade the black. And we're out! And we're out! Yeah. <laughs> Camera operators, this is Dan in control. We are wrapped for the 2021 Head of the Charles Regatta. Thank you all for all of your effort, all of your help on this project. Can't wait to have you back next year. Go ahead and break down all of our gear at our camera stations, return to our sectors with our team leads, and get back to 1120 safely. Signing off. All right. <laughs> and thus, 2021 Hoker was all wrapped up. 
I made my way back to my car, packed up my gear, and headed to my friend Joe's apartment for my first night at Ned Devine's. And that was my hectic Head of the Charles weekend. Great to be a part of one of the coolest races in the world. Drove Justin and his girlfriend Lainey back to Philly. And that was it. Thanks to everyone who came up and said hi. I appreciate you all. Let's go. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.